Hey guys, Cable Guy Ken here. A little video on uh, sheath making 101. Um, my buddy that owns the knife shop here in town ordered a bunch of these knives from Elk Ridge. Of course, they're uh, handcrafted in China. And he's uh, received a few of them without sheaths for them. So, of course, he gave me one of them, being a good friend and everything. Um, they're actually not bad little knives, they're just poorly made. The uh, back strap on here is well above the handle, so I'm going to have to sand that down to get that level. Um, same thing all the way around. The handle is just a little bit smaller. They didn't uh, grind down the guard any at all where they connected the two, so there's a little line there. But it's a good thick knife. Not real heavy. Uh, good little skinning knife. It's got a really, really sharp blade on it. But I'm going to make a sheath for this today. Um, I've got a piece of four to five ounce tooling leather, which is perfect for a little knife this size. It's easy to work with, easy to bend and manipulate. And uh, I've got my glue for gluing the leather together before I drill it. I've got just some wax thread here. I'm using black for the contrast with the leather. And the leather is going to be kind of a you know natural tan with just some oil on it to preserve it when I get done. Um, so what we're going to do to start out with is I generally just take just a sheet of regular 20 pound printer paper, 24 pound either one, just a real lightweight paper and I'll draw out the basic design of what I want the the sheath to look like or at least half of it because then you're going to fold it in half to, to kind of duplicate it. Um, bear in mind that the paper being thinner than the leather you need to add a little bit of room to the overall size of the sheath when you're actually forming it but I'll get to that here shortly so we're gonna come up probably about to here on it give me enough room to get a finger on it to open it up so we're gonna do 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 do, do. we're gonna come down and I'll actually straighten that line out just to let me know about where the the back edge of the blade's going to be and then the blade comes down like so and it's got a little bit that comes out and that's about how high I want the sheath to be so then just using anything I can find to use as a straight edge I can I know that's the the basic blade shape and the blade you know size of the handle and everything so we'll use the back of this book and we're going to give us about that much for the back and then just kind of eyeball it here we know the handle is going to come out to here and we want it to be about a quarter inch to three-eighths of an inch bigger than the handle itself so somewhere around in here and this is going to curve down about like so I said most of this is just to give me room for the stitching so that it'll be good and snug on the knife and then of course somewhere about here I'm gonna have a strap that's gonna come up on this side that'll be folded over for my sheath and then we can fold this over to give us a back line and if you just kind of keep the edge of the paper straight on the bottom down here that'll give you a pretty good idea fold that crease back over and then you can kind of eyeball about where it's going to be you don't necessarily have to do this since I'm making a mirror sheath, in other words, it's going to be the pretty much the same on both sides. I can just 
cut this out and then fold it over and make my marks on here for the other piece and uh, do it that way. So let me get a pair of scissors here. We're going to cut down this first line. And so this doesn't have to be exactly perfect because um, you're actually going to sand the edge of this sheath, the raw edge, so that you can uh, match the two sides up after you get it sewn together. This is just to give you a, a basic rough outline. I just use that kind of as, as a guide. So I'm going to take my leather with the, the raw side down, or the, I should say the skin side, the meat side. This is actually the hair side here. I'm going to take this and lay it down, make it a little bit bigger than the sheath itself. And you can always you can always sew in tighter if you need to, but it's going to be kind of hard to make it bigger after you've cut it. So I'm going to take this corner off here, and then we're going to go down this back side and just go straight down like that. And like I said that's giving me about a half inch to play with for my stitching, and then. Tell you what, I'm not even going to bother, uh, let's do it like this. I'm not going to bother bringing this in any for my, for the thong part, for the, to hang it with. I'm just going to bring that straight up and straight over, like so. And then I know I'm going to want it to come in about right here. So I'm going to cut it straight over about so. Now this is really just the simplest way to do this. Um, there's a lot of other ways out there that you can do it. You really need a good sharp pair of scissors. Or you can use an X-Acto knife. I'm on the kitchen table so I'm not going to be doing an X-Acto knife on this. I'm going to be doing the scissors job keep from messing up the table and making my wife have to kill me and then very carefully we're going to fold this over about like so trying to make sure you get it on about where your line is and just kind of force that down and then we're going to draw this outline here So we've got the the outline drawn. Now this is going to be the back. This is going to be the front. So this piece is actually going to come straight over. And I'm actually going to round that corner off. That'll just make it look a little bit better. And like I said, all this can be uh, adjusted, cut and sanded. To make it look the way you want it to look as far as your finished product goes. This is just a, a quick and easy way of doing it. Doesn't take that long. And all of these marks are on the inside of the sheets, so they're not going to show up. Nobody will ever see them unless they're looking at you know the inside. And then we're going to bring this around like so. So here is the basic shape of the sheath. We're going to round this piece here off, make it look just like the other piece. And like I said, all this you're going to do when you get done putting the sheath together, then you're going to put it on a sander, either sit down with sandpaper by hand and sand this all down. And I always leave the tip open just to give it a little drain point, let water drain out.